Wow, now this... <laughs> oh no, oh no! Uh, this is meant. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Ben Seong, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I've got a, a smirk on my face because I've been sent some gym fail videos. So this is a compilation of gym fails. I don't know what's in here. I don't know who has put what in here, but this is a compilation from my stuff. So I'm gonna look through them. I don't know what reactions you guys are gonna get, but we might get some reactions. We might get some advice. Who knows? This is as, as a surprise for me as it is to you guys. So without further ado, let's delve into today's YouTube video on gym fails. Let's go. <laughs> this is meant. <laughs> what video is this? What did I just see? Oh, nasty. Okay. Oh. When you don't clip things together, this happens. Okay, then this is going to be interesting. Who sports this way? Wow. Now this. <laughs> I don't even want to start. It's not an injury video, it's just a spotting video. This is video number four. This is very interesting. I've seen this one before. I think the plates are fake. Here's another squatting one. Okay. I'm having a really weird reaction to all these videos, right? This, I'm not making anything up, but it's so bizarre watching all these gym fail videos. Why would you load the bar up to a crazy extent and then not lock it properly? Because a lot of these videos are all about spotters and how spotting is done. So in terms of spotting and in terms of setup, I think these videos here is exactly what we should be focusing on. How do you set yourself up? before an exercise? Are you making sure that when you do set yourself up that it is safe for you to actually perform the exercise firstly for yourself and secondly making sure that you're not actually harming anyone around you. Let's say for example if you're not clipping the plates and you're doing a squat and you, you know your plates are dropping left right and center you could potentially be injuring not just yourself with the uneven loading but obviously the people next to you as well. So learning to make sure that the equipment is firstly safe to hold the load that you're lifting, making sure that the clips actually work on the bars. I mean, this is all common sense that I think a lot of people don't actually possess. We know that common sense isn't very common nowadays. So the setup of the exercise is critical. And then when you learn to spot a person, I'm really, really big on proper spotting techniques. When you learn to spot a person, it's so important to know when exactly to be able to give some help and when not to really help the person lift the entire load itself. And in these videos, the individuals are lifting weights way beyond their own capacity, getting someone else to spot them. And obviously, obviously the spotter is lifting a lot of the weight as well. So you get two people trying to hump each other uh, in a really bizarre uh, sort of way. Uh, but you know, hey, that's what makes a gym fail. That's what makes us kind of cringe or laugh at it. Uh, but I hope you guys don't actually go down this route. Okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so here we have a video of a lady doing a back extension, ideally a back extension on a glute ham raise machine. She obviously has failed to lock her feet in where it should be locked in. And so by putting it on top, she doesn't have any sort of padding to hold her down and she falls right down. So again, this clearly is a, a, a sign that this lady doesn't know what the equipment is being used for. She has seen people using it uh, and at the expense of her not wanting to ask anyone around her, uh, potentially embarrassing herself, she rather hop on it and try it on her own accord without an understanding that this is what you're meant to do. And again, this is what happens. So the camera has caught her and she's fallen flat on her face. Um, hey, if you don't understand how to use the gym equipment, 
is best to ask. Uh, and I only say this because our center, uh, the Australian Strength Performance Center, is full of novel pieces of equipment from bars all the way to machines. And we understand because a lot of members that come here will not have actually seen or experienced a lot of the machines uh, at, at all. A lot of them go to conventional gyms. So they will not have used any of these pieces of equipment. And so we take it upon ourselves as a responsibility to explain to them how a bar or a machine actually works, how that could potentially change strength curves, uh, and how they should load their bodies up on those particular machines. Now, the glute ham raise is more common. However, there are still individuals out there that may not understand how to position their body correctly for that machine to work well. So if you're someone that's a bit squeamish I recommend you don't watch this video. I've seen this video before, uh, and now it's just popped up on my screen again, and I'm still pretty squeamish about it. Oh no, oh no. I saw this one before. I'm seeing it again, and I'm cringing. Oh, okay, that's a, a pec tear on a bench press. Uh, it is someone doing an incline bench press of a very heavy load, and obviously as he is descending, uh, you know, the pec muscles basically tear, it tears right off the bone and you can start to see the muscles actually shrinking in. So uh, he was being spotted by uh, our good friend Larry Wheels and uh, strong Larry obviously was right to, to spot him together with the spotters but this individual is a very young bodybuilder uh, who hopefully still has a bright future ahead of him. Again, this is one of those things where you just got to be smart in how you perform the exercise. Don't just because of a social media stint or a stunt or you know proving something to be able to lift a heavy load at such expense. I think it is not worth it uh, to tear your pack off the bone just for social media itself. So this clip has been circulating, it has been make making its rounds and it is real. I mean there are people out there that obviously do things like that. Uh, it may be you know, the fact that yes, they are strong and yes, they possess good technique but perhaps the lack of a proper warm-up could potentially lead to this. Also understanding that potentially he could be lifting a, a weight that is significantly heavier than what he is used to for his max weights in order to prove a point, in order to hit his max for social media or for a video, uh, that could potentially happen. So especially when you're doing heavy weights, please understand the repercussions of it uh, and make sure that you're in a safe position. Now in his case, he was lucky to have three spotters around to help hold the weight uh, when he couldn't uh, lift it, obviously, and uh, again, that's the, that's the repercussion of such gym fails, eh? We're gonna continue this. I, I don't know whether that's a gym fail or it's actually individuals trying to be funny in the gym. You get people with a cable doing crazy movements on the lat pull down and a tricep extension. There's a lady on a elliptical machine. It's like she's doing a Bollywood dance. As a, as a young kid doing a bench press, getting pinned under. Not too bad. I'm built different. Oh, shit. That, that one was good. The last one, I really like. Okay, it's good. You know how there's always this trend uh, that goes on TikTok or Instagram of someone doing something in the gym. And this was one of those trends. You put an egg where your biceps is, you flex it, you try to squeeze this egg. And hey, lo and behold, anyone can do it, right? Now, you don't have to be someone who is built in the gym, but this is a great video. It's a great video to show that sometimes you just don't have to go out there to prove yourself. And I think a lot of these gym fails are really what is that all about. A lot of people try to prove themselves by lifting a crazy ton of weight or do something really stupid. A lot of gym fails actually revolve around functional training. If you're trying to build strength, aim to build stability, aim to do it on a stable surface. That is equally important than you trying to fire your core because understand that your core is actually fired if you're lifting a heavy load and uh, enough, and if you're maintaining good form in what you're doing anyway. So, hey, gym fills are there for a reason. We learn from them, we don't want to repeat them, and I really hope that you have enjoyed 
our YouTube video of me looking at this. In fact, if you'd like me to perform some of the exercise correctly or the setup correctly, make sure you comment uh, below. And uh, we hope to see you in our next YouTube. So thanks for watching.